We present MaskTOF, a method for flying pixel correction in time-of-flight imaging. In the past decade, both LiDAR systems and correlation time-of-flight imagers have found great commercial success, allowing researchers to produce high-quality 3D data at scale. A typical correlation imager starts off by illuminating a target with continuously modulated light. This light is reflected by an object, which results in an accrued depth-dependent phase shift. The light is collected by the camera sensor and converted into an electrical signal. This is then correlated with an onboard reference to produce a time-of-flight correlation measurement. Collecting an array of these measurements, we form a correlation image. By collecting four of these correlation images with varying phase offsets, we can use them together to solve for the phase of the return light, producing a phase map which we can then convert into the desired depth map after phase unwrapping. This powerful imaging modality is not without fundamental problems, however. Let's look closer at our time-of-flight camera, which we broadly decompose into an illumination module, main lens, and camera aperture pair, and sensor array. What happens when we have two objects in the scene, one at a foreground depth and one at a background depth? When we flood the scene with our modulated illumination, part of our return signal will be focused light from the background, which we consider the correct depth and part of it will be unwanted, unfocused light from the foreground. This mixed phase light is integrated over the sensor micro lens to produce a mixed depth measurement, a so-called flying pixel. This appears to be a confident measurement at a completely wrong depth, floating in empty space. We can trivially avoid these errant light paths by narrowing the aperture, but while this could reduce the effects of flying pixels, it's not light efficient and leads to a high noise susceptibility in the measurement. We propose MassTOF, which, true to its name, augments the camera pipeline by inserting a microlens mask between the sensor pixel and its microlens. This mask selectively blocks incident light paths, allowing us to effectively give each pixel its own custom aperture. We can thus augment our camera to have spatially varying susceptibility to noise and flying pixels, and leverage this to denoise and deflying pixel adjacent measurements, something a global aperture can't achieve. But how do we get this mask, and where do we actually learn to decode this information? Well, first we need data. Given the input light field, we simulate a set of correlation measurements for each sub-aperture view, to which we add some very important simulated noise. Zooming into this correlation image stack, we can observe the pixel masking process. As we multiply our sub-aperture pixels by a mask array, we sum them to produce a mask pixel. Zooming back out, we pass this mask array and the mask correlation images into a convolutional refinement network, which outputs a decoded depth reconstruction. Calculating our error with respect to the ground truth light field depth, we can propagate this loss back through the network and to the mask pattern, jointly updating both. In this way, starting with an initial mask iterate, we can simultaneously learn an encoding mask pattern and decoding network weights. In simulation, we see that, as expected, the pinhole aperture we mentioned before leads to extremely noisy reconstruction, while the open aperture scenario leads to blurred edges with a plethora of flying pixels. This effect is made even more visible by looking at a slice of this depth reconstruction, where we can clearly see the effects of noise and flying pixels. While an intermediate-sized aperture provides a promising balance between noise and flying pixels, MassTOF provides significantly improved depth reconstruction for the same light throughput. This improvement is again made more clear in the depth slice visualization, where the reduction in flying pixels is easily visible. We encourage the viewer to see the paper for additional quantitative results. To fully validate MassTOF, we build an experimental prototype of the system. Given the impracticality of accessing the sensor surface, we move the mask onto a virtual plane with a custom-designed optical relay system. We lithographically manufacture the mat mask pattern and mount them to a 3D translation stage for focusing. In a mass market implementation, this mask can be integrated as part of the sensor assembly, leaving the overall camera form factor intact. For real scene captures, MassTOF achieves a 30% reduction in flying pixels as compared to an identical light throughput global aperture mask. We find the results generalized to scenes of varying geometry and surface material.
all without retraining or fine-tuning the learned refinement network. We encourage the viewer to visit our project page for code and more project details. Thank you for watching.